Hey, what's up? I am here to give you all your messages, okay? And the download that I received for you uh, after my meditation is nothing changes until you change or nothing changes unless you do, okay? So there are some major changes that needs to be made um, in your life at this time. It could definitely be um, in regards to your business, to your leadership, to your money, um, to your power, okay? I'm hearing status, okay? So there's something that you need to change about your status. There's something that you need to change about your power. There's something that you need to change about your business, about, again, your coin, your sources, your resources. Um, there's some type of change that needs to be made and that change begins with you okay it begins inward nothing can uh, change in our outward lives in our 3d lives until we make the physical changes that we need to make in the uh, 5d realm which is on the inside which is we have to change the universe within because we are the universe and until we change the universe within our mindsets the way we do things our belief systems and actually get our mindsets and our energy to a place to where we are actually doing the necessary work, then nothing on the outside can change. So it's an inside job, okay? Um, it is definitely something in regards to your work, um, okay? Spirit is saying, don't rush. Just really think about whatever it is that you need to do, okay? Um, it's given that it's a change for the better. It's like you need to go in a completely different direction. Spirit is guiding you and leading you in the direction of success so you need to follow the signs of success is what I am picking up on so um, maybe right now you don't feel successful maybe right now you feel rejected or you were rejected or um, you were in low lack vibrational uh, situations maybe your bank account isn't where you uh, desire for it to be or maybe your work isn't what you want it to be or you're not really walking in your divine purpose is going to bring you a lot of income a lot of money a lot of resources a lot of community, whatever this is, Spirit is saying that you have to change. You have to decide, hey, it's time for me to level up the type of people that I connect with. It's time for me to be in different rooms at this time. It's time for me to have um, different type of phone conversations, okay? Um, it's time for you to make that change and you to do the work to feel comfortable enough to be in rooms with a certain level of people, but I feel like you're definitely headed um, into rooms that are full of successful people because that is where you belong because you are success because you are successful you are a success okay um, and if you don't feel like it then again that's why you need to go in inward and pull it out of you that way it can uh, be seen outwardly okay um, but yeah so let's see what actually comes out here okay um, I'm looking at the bottom of my other deck that I'm gonna get to later. And official person is here. Actually, I'm being guided to use this. I'm actually being guided to use this right now. So you are this official person, okay? Um, so I'm also I'm here in military. You could be um, wanting to go up into another military rank, okay? Yeah, it's definitely time for a change. Change doesn't happen unless you do, okay? Um, you have to go through the process. The caterpillar doesn't automatically become the butterfly unless the caterpillar naturally goes through that process. Um, but again, um, if you're a military, maybe you're wanting to go out for a new uh, role in the military or a new level or something like that, then it's like you got to put in the work. You got to change your mindset. Maybe um, it, it'll be something where it's new for you leading people. Maybe right now, the position you have right now, um, whoever you are, military or not, um, maybe you're not leading people at this time, but the position that you will be in requires you to lead people you may have to go within and pull out the inner leader within yourself you get what i'm saying you need to start walking in that you already know you're a leader but you need to start actually exuding that changing your speech this is more so personal development is what i'm getting at you guys it's time for you all to do the personal development work the on 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 yourself the the um setting schedules and things of that nature you have to go within to have that type of mindset a success mindset 
mindset. It all begins in the mindset. You're this mature woman, possibly. Look, this is like this. Yeah. So you're a mature woman, possibly. You don't have to be. But you're in despair or there's a mature woman around you that is in despair. Yeah, look, you're trying to figure it out. And look at what came out. Not hiring. So this is definitely something in regards to your money, um, your work, or your career here. Okay? And Spirit is saying you have to make a change to level yourself up, to level up your career. You have to take accountability because, baby, no one's coming to save you. So many people uh, manifest large sums of large lump sums of money um and they could be waiting on that to to be their their savior so to speak to where it's like i ain't gotta do no work but that's not what spirit wants for you and i say spirit doesn't want you to you know um get large sums of, the reason i say this i have people that that connect with me, you know, for reads and so forth. And a lot of people, you know, they want to win, um, you know, kind of prizes or, um, uh, chance games. They, you know, they, 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 they're taking, um, like the lottery or they're going gambling and things are like, they're like, Oh, well, and it's kind of like, that's you chasing that energy. I'm not saying you can't manifest it and put it out there, but you still have to continue moving on with your life and your career as well is what I tell, um, my clients that have those type of questions questions when they call um and thank you guys for all of the um all of the yeah i'm telling y'all y'all are just booking these reads uh i ain't gonna go lie i ain't gonna go front even within myself it was a little bit dry you know i was getting you know some here and there and so forth you know um it's like when you're a reader you um they can come in spouts and especially since i'm not huge out there on youtube like um how i used to be a few years ago they're not coming in how I had desired for them to. But baby, when I tell you these past two weeks, you guys have just been booking readings and I am so thankful and grateful. Um, and these are some of the recent questions and things that have, conversations that have taken place. So I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm saying this to everyone else because a lot of people think that they don't have to do a certain career because they're manifesting, you know, um, other forms of income to come towards them. But, and that's fine. Absolutely do that. But I'm also saying you still, there's still, it still may be in your purpose to still start a YouTube channel. It still may be in your purpose to, um, you know, I don't know, uh, be crafty at something or to create clothing for people or to start your own business or something. It's not a substitute. You get what I'm saying? Because, yeah, you got the money, but it's, it, it's also like you, ha there's still work, like, work that you have to do to help other people not that you have to help other people but a beauty salon helps other people restaurants help other people you get what i'm saying it's like it, it allows them to go out and have a good decent meal without for, for them to not have to cook you still have a work or a career purpose that spirit wants you in a particular field okay whether this is something you create on your own or you join an organization that is already doing what what it is you do or you become I'm, i heard a free agent so it could be sports. Maybe you're a sports uh, player or you have sport talent or something like that. Um, maybe you feel you're too old or something to be playing a certain type of sport or something. And that's why free agent came out. It's like market yourself as a free agent is what I'm hearing. There's so many things that you still have to do in spirit. And that's going to be successful for you because that's what's meant for you. It's not about the money. We need, or we need money to live in this society. And spirit, you can trust spirit to bring you your coins. But you have to be in alignment with your coins. And if you feel you're in this spare okay then that means you're not in alignment to be re able to receive your coin okay which means you're you're out of alignment when it comes to your work your your career purpose or your work purpose spirit may want you um uh in some type of as a car salesman to help people get cars or some because you you have the gift of gab and you know how to really get people the best deal maybe you're meant to be a real estate agent because you know how to get people the best deals on homes or there is something that you still must must do work wise so spirit is guiding you and leading you to get out of this despair energy and figure out what your purpose is as uh, far as your work okay and then you will be able to do that and just that money is just go flow on in baby but not saying it won't take a while. Not saying you may not have to study. You may have to, you know, go back to school. You may have to take some type of exam. You may have to, you know, do some type of training or go to some type of seminar and network. Or you may need a mentor. 
uh, to help you open up your brick and mortar, whatever it is that you're doing here, okay? Um, look at this. It's going to bring you great fortune. You just have to be mature enough in this situation. It's also giving me, there could be a work situation. You're already at work and it's like, you don't like work. It's giving me, you're very, you're being very mature in a situation at work. So I feel like this is somebody specifically that has coworkers or a boss. Somebody is like, you just feel very uncomfortable at your job. Whatever it is that you do, people around you could be making you feel uncomfortable. And Spirit is saying um, that you are being very mature. They see how mature you're being. Um, and there is a change that is here for you. But also, you have to take those steps and do what you need to do. Whether that's finding another 9 to 5 in the meantime. You need to, there's something that, that that's making you miserable at your job right now. Okay? But Spirit is saying it's because Spirit is trying to push you to let you know that's not the job you're supposed to be at or that's not you trying to make it long term and it's not supposed to be long term or maybe you're trying to make it last for the next year and spirit is saying it's only supposed to last for the next month that's why you need to start listening to this message now this is your trigger to start putting in applications to go to another job or whatever the case may be you get what i'm saying um but yeah whenever you do this you're gonna be getting this money i'm telling you i'm telling you so spirit has a spirit has a plan. There's a change here for you. Spirit has a plan when it comes to your work, um, when it comes to your career, when it comes to your coins and your money. So don't get frustrated. Just follow the signs here, okay? We also have main male and family room here, okay? So there's definitely something about um, uh, oh, so we have main male, family, and uh main female that is here. Somebody could have some type of concern. What is this main female? I was going to ask, what is this main male and main female here? And look, we have toil and labor and work. I'm telling you, somebody could be stealing money from you at work or they're not paying you correctly. Um, or you're working all of these hours and you're getting paid pennies. It's like people work for $20 an hour. People work for $25 an hour. People work for $12 an hour. That's pennies. You're being robbed. D do you not believe you're worth more than that? But some, I hear somebody saying, but that's all that's out here. Ain't nobody hiring and la, 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 You know, that, uh, they, they ain't hiring and unemployment and all that stuff. Do you want to stay stuck on unemployment? Do you want to stay stuck in these $12 an hour jobs or these, the max they want to pay is $50,000, 60000 a year? When you see people are clearly millionaires, multimillionaires, billionaires, because you have the skills and the gifts within you to create your own success and to create your own business when you know the company that you're working so fucking hard for and they paying you shit, they're paying you crumbs that you can run that motherfucker. You have the skills, the knowledge, the gifts. You ain't even got to have your degree. You know because you're smart how to do all of that because you you smart. Because you're very intelligent. You have common sense. And the people that's running it, they're, they're smart enough to have a, you in there running it for them. Or to have you in there working hard. So that's the way that they're smart. But they're not smart enough to actually do it. You get what I'm saying? They can't do it themselves. And here you are working for low wages. But you're royalty, but you got the nerves to say you're royalty. You are, baby. So act like it and get yourself out this thieving situation. Because you're working too hard. And I feel like I feel like some of you guys, this could be a housing situation. There's some type of housing situation or something here. There could be something going on with this main male and main female. When I was asking about it, this is what came out. But I feel like this is just to confirm I'm talking to men and women. Okay? I'm feeling like with this uh, family room here because this is how I'm seeing it. I have this main female, this family room. So this is definitely family. Spirit could be telling you to start a family business, okay, um, or something like that. Um, but also there could be a conversation that's going down between these two people as well. This could be family um, or something, something about your living situation, okay, or um, uh, something like that, okay. Um, but I definitely, since what came out to clarify it is work and thief, okay, make sure no one is trying to steal your work, okay. Make sure this main female or this main male isn't trying to steal your work here okay or something like that here let me find out what family room is yeah there's a poverty situation here it's it's time for you to rise up out of the streets of poverty you don't belong there because you're this official person 
What's family room? Tell me about family room. Family room. Tell me about family room spirit. Yeah, so you feel imprisoned where you live or something like that? Or you feel imprisoned with your man, this man? So now what it's looking like when I say family room, I ask about family room and we have imprisonment. And also the thief came out as well. Okay, so there's something about the you feel imprisoned in where you live, in your living space or something. Um, this could be a relationship that you're in. Spirit is saying for some of you guys, it could be a relationship that is holding you back oh as well so definitely there's some type of relationship that you're in this could be someone that you live with they're holding you back or you feel in prison being with this person or maybe you feel like well my husband would never want me to you know go off and start and do this thing they holding you back baby i'm i'm just saying but you do you you know um Definitely, uh, you want supportive people that are around you, not people that want to hold you back. So you could definitely feel like you won't have the support of your spouse or someone that you're in living quarters with or something like that. Okay. Also, you know what I just got? For some of you guys, where you live, you cannot be successful there. It's a trap. It's a prison. You won't be successful wherever you live, okay? Um, wherever you lay your head, okay? Um, this could be, it's, I'm getting a few messages. This could be you need to change your block. This could mean you need to change your city. This could mean you need to change your state. You take it how it resonates for you. That's only for certain people, okay? Um, it's like give you something to think about, but also... Um, Dang, what was the other download that just came in? It went and left just like that. If it come back, it come back. I ain't gonna spend too much time on it. But definitely you feel like um, where you are maybe not is safe. Or something like that okay um but yeah so uh or you're imprisoned in your mind about something about your home maybe this is a home business or something like that you know let's use the tarot here why is family room here why is family room here why is family room here because it's with this man and this woman here and as you feel in prison, you feel like you don't have some type of support here or something about this man and this woman in this family room. Somebody could be juggling. Somebody could be, it could just be a lot. It could, somebody could be juggling um, this relationship. There could be a relationship and you're being juggled um, pretty much third party. Um, so you need to remove yourself because and focus on your success, um, pretty much. Um, there's some type of balancing act that's going on here, or you, you need to you need to get out of this situation. Is the under all vibes where you're at? It's not good. Something has to change, and like I just like I just said when I started the camera. Nothing changes unless you do. Nothing changes until you change. So I don't know. You need to you need to change something because when you change, you're headed towards the success, the will of fortune. What's this main male and main female? Why is main male and main female here together with this living room? I want to know why it's here together. Because there's some type of entrapment. We got sun at the bottom of the deck here, okay? This could be in regards to something with your children. Maybe you need to move because of where your children are, or they're not they're not safe being in the in the neighborhood where you are or the city that you're in. Or, there's something like that. There also could be some childhood things going on between the two of you all as well. What's this imprisonment? Tell me about this imprisonment. This person could be childish. This, that, this person could definitely be childish or something like that as well. Okay, we have the Queen of Wands. This is something about work. Also, I'm getting the energy of um, 
between this man and woman there could be a queen of wands in between you all this again that's being juggled or something like that because there's definitely some type of imprisonment and also with this imprisonment this queen of wands coming out here i feel like you this is you at work you're really this leader but you feel imprisoned you feel like you're really not the leader that you say you are but spirit says you are so you need to get out of that mindset this could be a mindset that you there could be some some childhood things that you are still working through and that could be why this family room is here as well okay um you're working on, during you're working through some 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 family mentalities that could have been stuck in your head from the past or from childhood that makes you feel like you're not really who you are it could be imposter syndrome you feel like uh, people use imposter syndrome in different ways. The way I'm saying imposter syndrome is you may say, oh, I'm a leader, but yet you really don't feel like you're a leader, even though you you feel like you're not good enough to be that way or something like that. And it's all from some type of uh some type of issues from from childhood or something and i feel like that's preventing you from the success that's what has kept you trapped so long you've been trapped in this family type of dynamic or this family mindset that you're trying to you know get away from it's some type of toxic behavior or something that has kept you trapped from from reaching your your most successful um potential when it comes to your work your money your career here okay Grace Spirit, what other messages do we have here? Yeah, you got some decisions you got to make about your money. You definitely got some decisions to make about your money. What's his main mail here? We'll see what's up with his main mail. This King of Pentacles, they may want to give you something or this is um, a boss or you are a boss or something like that here. But I'm asking about the main male here and the King of Pentacles came out. Okay, so let's see. What's this King of Pentacles? Tell me more about this King of Pentacles, but it's definitely your time to receive here. I feel like this is a, this is a few messages because there's definitely a relationship here. I know this is talking about, you know, changing and all of this stuff, but I see, I can't ignore that somebody is feeling entrapped in a relationship or there's this main male that wants to be in a connection with you, okay, or something like that, but it may not be good for you or healthy for you to be in this relationship. You need to see how supportive they are and look at what we got, the, the king of wands. So we have the king and queen of wands here, a match. I'm telling you, this is something about family, family room. So it's giving me, <laughs> just trust the process because the answers will always come. What is giving is that there's a connection here. Some of you guys are going to be going into business with a counterpart, making money. And this family has not been able to, you have not been able to make money and possibly this person maybe you don't know them yet. Maybe you have not yet to meet them or maybe you have already. I'm not sure, but maybe their money has been a little funny as well. And that's because part of your purpose, y'all have your individual purposes, but y'all also have work and business to do together and your real wealth. That's why this family has been on lock or feeling in prison because you have to come together with your match and partner and you guys will make a lot of coins together. Not saying this person don't already have money and ain't doing their thing, but maybe they had a period of where it wasn't and not saying you're not doing your thing or whatever the case may be. But what I'm saying is when you two come together, you guys would definitely be getting the big bag or getting a bigger bag. But I feel like you guys are both pursuing your own as well, your own purposes. And as you're pursuing your own purpose, you guys run into each other. You guys meet one another. If you have not yet already, past energy is past, present, or future. And when you guys come together, you guys begin to work with one another. And you guys become a team. And you guys build this wealth together. Yeah, look at this. It's a wish fulfillment here. But somebody could feel imprisoned right now. Like, 
why isn't why isn't my family getting ahead or why isn't something working or something like that i don't know it's it, the energy is just a little bit weird but guess what's coming in really quickly something is this this ace of pentacles is coming in very quickly so the overall energy for this read so i won't be repetitive and so forth is pretty much you need to focus on uh on this bitcoin and right up under that is the empress and we got the lovers okay um pretty much you have to figure out what your purpose is how do you get this money okay if you don't want the money this message ain't for you it's time for you to make some type of major changes maybe you need to start looking into culinary school you get what I'm saying? Um, to help people eat better. There's so many things that you that you can look into that is gonna be your purpose. And there's so many people, y'all know how many things I started and it didn't work out for me, but I've never stopped. I've always been an entrepreneur. You get what I'm saying? I've been I, well not always, you know. Um, I'll say for the past at least seven years at least seven years but it's before that because when i was in arizona so it's been maybe 10 years that i've been on this journey of entrepreneurship oh i was doing this oh that didn't work out how i planned oh okay let me go into another business i did this nope that you get what i'm saying you got inventory from businesses you started because it just didn't work out and that's what the entrepreneur journey is it's about you really finding your niche it's about you taking that leap of faith and being willing to go down that path because you know there's something bigger for you so you have to do that at this point to help you get out of this despair keep your nine to five right now if you need to to help you pay your bills and everything else and what you're building is going to help you live the lifestyle that you desire to live because baby even getting paid a hundred grand a year, yes, that's a decent salary, but that is not a it ain't enough for me. I'm a big, big, big personality and have a big lifestyle that I live and desire to live. You get what I'm saying? So I gotta get these coins. And even if I was like, you know what? I can I'm good off of a hundred grand a year. The fact that my brain knows that motherfuckers is out here getting billions of dollars. And I know that I'm talented and gifted. I ain't about to give up on me because if you can do it, then bitch, I can do it. You ain't the only billionaire in this world. You get what I'm saying? So it's not just for certain people. It's for the people who go after it. And you, friend, you have to go after it. If it's something that you want. You have to go, you have to put in the intent and the research to say, hey, I'm going towards what I know I'm being led. I'm going towards my success and it will flow to you. But if you're not in alignment with it and it doesn't work out, that's fine. But go on to the next thing. But don't just, oh, it didn't work after three months. No, I was in the things I was in for a few years. And it's like, you know what? This is, I was ignoring the signs. It's like, you know what? Let me let me go on to the next. OK, and I just, you know, everybody's entrepreneur journey is different. But the point is, stop working and slaving away for pennies and allowing people to steal from you, stealing your energy, your ideas. You put all that that work into somebody else's business, but you ain't doing it for you when you get home. Oh, I'm so tired. Yeah, because they slayed your ass all damn day. And that's the goal. So you don't be encouraged and motivated to go out and do your own. But those who got that grit, those who are determined, because that's what it takes. You getting out, you getting off of that 10 hour shift and you saying, hey, let me take an hour break. Re regather myself, do what you need to do. And you at least doing some research. You you at least, you know, turning in, opening up your laptop or your phone. Or whatever and you 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 know creating your store or you're doing something you're creating your designs you're creating a business plan if you ain't got no electrical device and you got your notebook look you got your handy dandy notebook you get what i'm saying and you doing what it is that you need to do is my point and is what i'm saying so uh the point is once you go after what you're meant to do not only are you getting the big bag on your own but you're also getting the big bag with your partner for those who desire that and you're getting love you get everything you want you just got to go towards it so you have to change your mindset and say boom i'm going towards it and i ain't looking back you can't look back wealthy man there's a wealthy man in your energy or you are this wealthy man. This is that king of pentacles. There's a wealthy relationship that's here. A wealthy family that's here. It's kind of like you guys are a royal family. 
and you guys are not activated and tapped into it. You are royal. Your children are royal. It's like you guys need to get in on this family business. For some of you guys, it's a family business without a partnership. So it could be you and your mom going into business. Or it could be you and your children going into business. Or you and your sister going into business. You get what I'm saying? But there is some type of family dynamic. It's going to be different for everybody. This is a general reading. But I'm, I'm you know divining the energy as best as I can because there's so many energies here and there's still a little unanswered a little bit of energy that's unanswered but I'm not going to dwell on that okay um but if this message resonated with you, please give it a thumbs up. You guys can book your personal readings, okay, down below or your personal coaching. I do offer business coaching as well, okay, business planning, if that's something that you need as well. So go ahead and book your one-on-ones with me down below. And like I said, give this video a thumbs up. Also, check out all of my other videos and posts that I am putting up, especially my music and spoken word content. And yeah, I will see y'all in the next one. I am. Nayla Latrice. Peace.